hi welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to correct a really overexposed image in this picture that I was taking of these birds um, it was an accident I didn't mean to overexpose it but I thought it was a cute picture and I wanted to try and fix it so first thing is when you first open the raw image stay in the develop persona don't click on that yet because we're going to come over here to where it says basic and we're going to correct the exposure right here and when you do it here it works so much better than if you try and make an adjustment layer later on so just drag that down to wherever we need it and then from here i wanted to uh, just get these pinkish purpley color up there so go to tones curves and then red and then that just barely needs to come down at all that kind of got rid of that reddish cast for us and now we can click develop and now from here you can do anything you want the picture can really be adjusted in any way but I wanted to show you something else I noticed when I started playing around with this picture the fringe it's got purple fringe here and on the sign it's purple and green and then down here on the grass on the edges of the grass right here it's green so I tried to get rid of it with the defringe and it it didn't work on everything but it did work on this green so go up here to layer new live filter layer colors and there you'll find defringe and I'll just move it over to the green and then on this particular picture all I had to do was lower the edge brightness there we go and then just play around with these just a little there it goes now it's gone and just that easy the green is gone that did not work so well for the purple though I had a little harder time getting the purple to come to come off oh, and see there's still green right there so I'm going to show you how to take care of these two we'll start with the purple what I did was because there's not a lot of purple in this picture except on the edges of the grass I just used an HSL layer and just click on any one of these click picker and then you want to click on that purple zoom really close up in there and get the picker again make sure it gets the purple I don't know that I'm getting the right purple here Let's keep trying it should be more I need to get more over here and we can always move those manually if we need to but I was hoping it would just do it on its own let's try it here and see what happens so all you all, all I need to do for this picture was to just lower the saturation yeah, and it worked it worked pretty well see and that fringe is kind of gone and you can use this to darken it also or lighten it but it's doing a little too much I think so we are going to actually pull this over like that there we go I didn't want it to take out too much of the wrong color all right let me lower that a bit more And the purple is also mostly gone from the sign so now I'm going to do the green and instead of just picking another color I need to open a whole new HSL layer and let me show you why okay let's get the picker tool out all right let's get that green on the sign there okay when I lower the saturation on the green see it lowers it in the whole picture I'm going to darken it there we go so I'm going to get it to way to the way I want the sign to look and that looks good so now just do control I and that will invert that layer and so now we can use our brush tool just push the B and get the brush tool and make sure you've got white paint and now we can just come and brush that layer back on only where we want the adjustment to be which is only on these little green parts and that works well for this because there's not a lot going on over here it's just mostly on this side there's a little bit here we could change so just paint that on wherever you need it oh, 
a little bit of the grass. All right. I could have got rid of the sign, but I thought it was funny because it looks like it's pointing straight up and it says one way. <laughs> so I left it. All right. And now you can do anything you want with this picture. It's ready. And let me show you what I did do. I just went and I changed the levels a little bit. I just darkened that a little bit and then I wanted to brighten it up a lot. Okay, move that a little too. I just really want it to be a nice, bright, happy picture. And then I also wanted it to be a little warmer. So I'll just open up a white balance layer and just warm it up a little. And um, the white balance and the levels, actually I made into an LUT so I could just save it and do it again and again and I will put that on my website. I'll, I'll be sure to put the link in the description below so you can go and check it out if you want. So let me show you another picture. This picture is the, my lavender and I went out and I took a picture and I overexposed it on purpose just so that I could make sure that this worked the same way for more than one picture and it did, it worked great. So when you open it up, once again, stay in the develop persona. Don't come out of there. And we'll just change the exposure in here. Let's see. Well, that's pretty good. All right. And now this time I did curves, but not red. So come down here and go to master. And what I was doing here was I was trying to um, lower the whites a little. Just pull that down just a little. Flatten out the whites and flatten out the blacks just a little so that when I go in and make changes, it's easier. So now click develop. All right, sweet. Okay, so I did sort of the same thing, but I added a bunch of other stuff. So I mean, it's, it's ready for you to do anything you want. That's all you really need to do is go in and make sure you use exposure first. And I also, just as a side note here, I opened up this picture and then I clicked develop and then I went back into the develop persona from here and the exposure didn't work quite the same as it does when you first open the picture. So if you need to make an adjustment to the exposure, do it right away when you first open the picture. All right, so in this one, we're just gonna brighten it up with some levels. Lower the blacks a little, not too much, and then just brighten it up a bit. And then I wanted to make the purples more purple. <laughs> so I came down here and I clicked on Vibrance. And you can up the Vibrance. And also the saturation a little. We will up the Vibrance a lot. Lavender should be really pretty. All right. And then from there, I just added some of my overlays that I was playing with. So let me show you. If you want to add an overlay, go, file, go to File place and then find them on your computer wherever you've got them and this one i clicked the soft purple because well, it's lavender it's purple and i changed the blend mode to i think it was overlay let's see multiply looks good too oh, that one looks good too let's come down and try this one no that's not gonna work mm, that's interesting I don't know, kind of like that one. Well, let's change the opacity though. There we go. Yeah. I kind of like that one. All right, and then I also wanted to add some lighting. So I got this one called Sunbeam that I made. And I thought I put it on my website. If I didn't, I will. <laughs> so. Just check in the description below. I'll make sure it's there. So change this one to either screen or overlay, soft light. I liked overlay because it's just kind of like the nice, I don't know, the dappled kind of light that it gave it, but it was too harsh. So if you come up to filters, blur, and then Gaussian blur, and we can blur it. So start down at zero and just go up slowly until it's just the way we want. That's pretty good. I'll click apply. And then I'm going to lower the opacity just a little. And then I think it's a bit, actually that was too much. I think it's a bit harsh right in here. So just 
click E for eraser. Or you can use a mask, but I'm, I'm okay with an eraser on this one. And then make sure the opacity is at about 50%. And then just kind of erase the parts that are just a little too bright there. There we go. And then I think I added one more. Oh, yeah, I did. To file, place, let's see. And they vanished. There we go. It was this one. Originally, I was doing fireflies or something, but this looks good here. So, change the blend mode to overlay. Uh, or soft light. We'll do soft light. But this one definitely needs to be blurred. So, go to filters, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And I'm going to blur this one a whole bunch. And click apply. And I'm going, going to change the opacity just a little. Not too much, but I just liked, for some reason, on this particular picture, I just liked the spots of light that it gave it. It made it look like it was kind of under a tree and the sun was coming through a little. But down here, once again, that bugged me. So, just either make a mask or use the eraser tool. Never at 100% unless you know you need to, but always start off at a lower percentage. And just erase. That way you don't erase too much. And I'm going to go back over it. Just uh, I think the sunbeam one is the one that's, yeah, there we go. I just don't like those spots down there at the bottom, but I like the spots at the top. And there you go. So you can find all those, all, all those um, overlays on my website. So I hope you found something useful in this video. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.